Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monica of Millie and Monica over on Poshmark, where I am a full-time seller, and I have a pretty large Goodwill outlet thrift haul for you today. Uh, so I drove um, over an hour about two mornings ago to go to a different Goodwill outlet. So I have one much closer to me. Actually, I have two that are much closer to me. But I had been to this particular location like once, several months ago, and I did pretty well. So I thought I would try it again. Um, I feel like when I was there, I wasn't overly excited about what I was finding. But when I got home and started sorting through it, I was like, ah, I actually did pretty good. So um, I'm going to show you what I found. And I spent $70. So if you're interested in this type of content, if you're interested in reseller, uh, making money online type content, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And of course, remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Okay, so first item we have is this Saturday Sunday Anthropology um, zip up sweater. Uh, Saturday Sunday is more of the like kind of basic casual line. Um, and it's a size large. It has very light wear, but overall still has lots of life left. Um, I like the little front pockets and drawstring. I definitely picked up some vintage. So this is a pair of vintage shorts and I am still picking up shorts. Um, if I feel like they go with kind of overall styles that I sell. So I definitely sell vintage shorts and I didn't find a whole lot over the summer, but I'll still give them a, give them a go. I know it's warmer in other parts of the country. Maybe the people are still wearing shorts. Um, but I really like the front on this front on this pair anyways. So there was tons of maternity and looking back, I feel like maybe I should have picked up more of the maternity and taken it into like either consignment, um, or places that, um, might just give me cash on the spot because I've never actually tried to do that before. If you have any experience taking in maternity to consignment, I'd be really curious. So leave me any comments down below. But I did pick up this pair of maternity jeans to actually sell on Poshmark. So they're Gap. They're size 26. But they originally caught my eye because of the hem. So yes, this is very trendy hem. And so I'm always kind of looking for stuff like this. And when I saw it was maternity and they're really great condition, um, I thought I'd give it a try. So pretty basic pair of jeans. Um, but again, just a trendy pair. And I thought, if gosh, if I were pregnant, I would want to find a pair of jeans like this. Um, so yeah. And here, I was super excited to find this. So I love finding this brand. It's very rare for me, Ishakti. Um, and if you've been watching for a little bit, maybe you caught uh, a video where I had found a skirt with the same exact owl embroidered design. And it sold full price for $40. So when I found the dress version, I was just so ecstatic because... Um, it's just a great piece and it is a size large dash 14 um, in overall great condition. It doesn't really look like it's been worn much at all. It does have side pockets, which, which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, excited about that. Uh, grandpa sweaters, definitely love them. They're selling, getting attention. This is just a pretty basic one as far as colors are concerned. I like that it's kind of a... Um, oversized. It's an extra large, so it's definitely like an oversized fit on a woman. And it's got this kind of chunky stripe going on. This is just a pretty basic Lucky Brand sweater. It's an open kind of knit with a kind of metallic weave to it. So it's like black and gray with metallic kind of weave. Size medium. If you're interested in any of these items, I have listed a lot, but if for some reason it's not listed, um, and you're interested in something, just leave me a comment down below and you can leave me a comment down below. Regardless, if you're interested in something, just tell me what you're interested in and your Poshmark closet name so I can tag you in the listing. That seems to work pretty well. Um, this is just a cable and gauge sweater. I really love this though because it's in fabulous condition. It's kind of um, got this textured rose design and super fun print I felt like anyway this is another dress that I was pretty pleasantly surprised and happy to find so this is called 
this one is particularly is called Hell Bunny Vixen, which this was sold by ModCloth. So when I find pieces like this that are very novelty, so this is kind of the Little Red Riding Hood um, forest scene. Um, I think it's called the Storybrook design. But anyway, so when I find dresses like this that are like good quality, um, but not vintage, they kind of have the vintage retro look. I will look up and see if they're made by mod cloth or sold by mod cloth, I should say, because oftentimes I guess correctly and mod cloth sells very well for me. So, um, yeah, this has side pockets as well. It does have the matching belt, which is great. A little pleating at the skirt and overall, this is just such an amazing find. I did list it higher. Um, just because the season we're going into, I feel like this would be great for like winter events, winter weddings. If you're going to a winter wedding, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful piece. I did pick up a few Maurice's items, uh, which I normally don't do because if I'm sourcing at Goodwill to pay $5.99 for a Maurice's jacket, that's only going to maybe sell, um, at the most for maybe $20. It's not worth it for me, but... At the bins, I'm definitely willing to give it a try. I love this kind of anorak um, style jacket. This one's a semi crop, so it's a little bit shorter length, which I think is super fun. And so I thought I'd give it a try. And it's always something that if it doesn't sell, I can take into um, Play Doh's or consignment, and I know they'll take it there. So I'll try this one on Poshmark first. There's definitely some items in here that I picked up for the like the quality. The condition and style rather than brand and this is another one of those this is just a uh, jm collection 2x l um or xx large anyways i definitely always looking to add um more sizes to my closet it seems like i normally find a lot of smalls and mediums um but this was in great condition i love this little detail at, at the cowl neck and it's actually kind of like um a really oversized kind of flowy fit and longer length um, kind of reminds me of like a poncho and it kind of wraps around in the front which is really hard to tell here but beautiful kind of classic piece in great condition I have another grandpa sweater this one's a cardigan and it's kind of like a purpley yeah it's definitely more purple than maroon but I really like this kind of design in there and again it's a cardigan I think it was an extra large. Yeah. But I like the oversized styling of those cardigans. I picked up a few scarves. This is another Maurice's piece. Um, and it's got these like great little pom-poms on them. So it's very kind of a blanket scarf, uh, really chunky, oversized fit, plaid, great condition. And hopefully someone bundles that up. I always feel like I sell big blanket scarves like these in bundles. Like people want them, but they don't want to just buy a scarf. So they add it to a bundle, which is awesome. This is another Maurice's scarf. I'm trying to find the tag, but I can't. And again, great condition. Purple plaid. This one's more of the like square blanket size where the other one was more of the long style. So yeah, these are great. This is like a chenille sweater. Sorry, I'm going fast because there's a lot of stuff. But this is a just Romeo and Juliet couture, um, size medium, this really soft like chenille material, which I think if you're someone who has very sensitive skin, these style sweaters are great because they usually don't bother um, sensitive skin. I really enjoyed this one as well. So just a lot of like bread and butter. I'm pretty sure some of these last brands have all been sold at like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, but I like the stripe on this. The drop shoulder has the side button detail, um, and just stripes are always, I love a good stripe size large and it's this textured, mm, I don't know what you call that, but it's definitely textured. I like it. This was another anthro piece. I pulled it out and thought it felt amazing. It feels really nice. It's really got some great details. And I thought, well, maybe it's anthropology, but there's no tag. Um, so I did look inside. It has, oh, maybe you didn't see it. It has a button down the 
back, buttons down the back, but on the interior tag, which was thankfully still in the item, um, it does have the RN66170, and then it says um, imported by Anthropology. so you can see that. So it was, in fact, Anthro, which is awesome. I don't expect to get a lot from this. Like, it, I marked it or priced it in the $25 um, dollar price point. Um, another scarf. This one is unbranded, but I just really liked the print. So that Aztec kind of tribal with a metallic weave. I think this burnt orange is great for fall. Um, yeah, that's really pretty. It's a lighter weight scarf. This again is a pretty, um, just basic piece that I picked up more for style, not brand. Um, I like the kind of Patrick Boho print. It's got this great embroidery, um, with flowers and such, and it's a size large. Uh, this is one of those pieces again, where if it doesn't sell on Poshmark, I know I can take it into consignment and they would take it there. So giving, I'm picking up, I think I said in my last video, I'm playing around with um, taking things in to consignment and like places buy sell trade stores um, that I find maybe at the bins or come across in other ways I guess but mostly the bins and um, I'm doing that because if I'm sourcing more at the bins and I'm finding all these great pieces but I know that they don't have a really great um, resell on Poshmark I hate the thought that there's great items out there that are potentially just going to go into a landfill. So if I can um, maybe make a little extra cash taking them into, you know, those other places, that is great. And then I can reinvest that money in other inventory as well. So I'm going to start playing around with that. I've always kind of done that here and there with my own clothing um, or maybe old inventory, but I've never specifically sourced for that reason. So I'm going to be giving it a try. I'll definitely let you know how it goes um, as, as I do it more. I just don't have a lot of experience with it yet. Pair of vintage Levi's, the light wash, which I like. They do have some like color transfer and some staining. I don't think that's a big deal. They're a size 32, 36. Um, they're the size, they're the 560 style. So more of the tapered loose leg. Um, so hopefully those do okay. I feel like they're, my Levi's aren't selling as fast anymore. And I don't know if it's just because I don't have as many. I feel like I used to source more of them when I wasn't sourcing more at the bins. Maybe that makes sense. Here's another pair of vintage shorts. I love the green on these. They're kind of a pair of mom shorts, a little bit longer inseam. Uh, they're size vintage 12, so I definitely need to measure them. There's the label. High rise. Fun color. I feel like you could definitely, like, people are still, like, maybe wear shorts with tights in certain areas. That might be fun, especially for fall. Okay, we have a Free People Thermal. Don't remember what size. Oh, the size takes cut out. I'll have to measure and look inside. But just a pretty basic um, thermal. And it's kind of a boxier fit. I'm guessing it's maybe a medium. Maybe a large. We'll see. And here we go. This is a 1X. CJ Banks. Again, not a normal pickup for me, but trying to get a more of a variety of sizes. This is in really good condition. I like the open front cardigan and kind of that pastel stripe going on. Uh, vintage. I got a couple of this kind of style. They're vintage button down, like short sleeve shirts. Um, I like the print on this one. I think it's great for fall. It's kind of hard to see what's going on, but I think that will do well this fall, winter. I do have another one. I think this one, I picked it up because it was hard to leave it behind, but I don't think this one will do as well this time of the year. It does have the cheetah animal print. Maybe the colors will still work for fall, um, but I feel like this one's maybe more spring and summery. They're cute, tied up, tucked in, do high-waisted jeans and shorts. Oh, I love this dress. This one's going to take me a little bit longer to get listed because, as you can see right away, it is pretty stained. So it's a vintage dress. Um, it's definitely giving me 60s vibes. Here's the vintage label. Um, it doesn't, it says made in Hawaii. 
So it's a vintage Hawaiian dress, which those can do very well. I think this style is going to do fantastic if I can get it cleaned up. So there is some staining on it. Um, it's, I'm trying to find all the staining. I think a lot of the staining is on the inside, which is good. But there, I think there was still some on the outside. I love this back. It's got some buttons up here. Um, yeah. So that was a fun find. Here's another Maurice's piece. There is no size tag, unfortunately, in this. In my last What Sold video, I was talking a lot about picking up Nordic Fair Isle um, sweaters, and this definitely fit the bill for that style. It is longer, so more of like, I don't know if it's necessarily meant to be a sweater dress, but maybe. Um, it definitely would be great worn over tights. I think it's a little too short to be like a dress dress, but over some tights, leggings would be super great. Um... So yeah, great cowl neck. I think I listed it as a extra large um, to like a little bit. It could probably fit up to an XXL. But again, with no tag, that's I just went with the measurements. So here's a pair of bib overalls. You know I love me some overalls. This is a pair of Cherokee denim. They're size XL and they're the cargo fit. So kind of a oversized leg cargo cargo style. They do have, I did throw them in the wash yesterday. Um, there's like some staining here that didn't come out. So I'm just going to list them as is. I have sold several pairs of overalls with stains. It never really seems to be a big deal, especially like this time of the year if people are buying them for like Halloween costumes um, to do fun things with that. Or like schools do like football games and they you know, dress up in overalls. So I don't think that the stains on that one are a super big deal, but we'll see. Okay. So here are some specific pieces that I actually picked up to take into buy, sell, trade, and consignment. So, um, I'm still kind of playing around with what I'm taking where, um, so consignment doesn't give cash on the spot. They hold the items and pay you out once it sells. And what's great about my local consignment is they'll take all seasons and, they'll hold the items until the right season. So for instance, um, this is just this Emerald Sunday brand and a super cute and trendy gingham piece. They are um, romper style. I probably could try to sell this on Poshmark. However, because now that we're going into the fall, I'm not really interested in trying to sell it on Poshmark. I feel like it definitely would do much better in the spring and summer, and I don't know that I want to list it and hold on to it forever, but I know I can take this into consignment, and they'll hold it for me. I won't have to store it, and then they'll bring it out in, like, February, I think is what they told me, and it'll stay on the floor then for all of spring and summer, and when it sells, I'll get the 45%. It has a smocked back. However, if you really want this piece, I probably won't be going in for about a week or so. So if you really want this, I can list it on Poshmark for you. And so just let me know. Um, actually, I do have another story that goes with this though. So um, I was at this different location that I normally don't go to. And uh, Kim, you came and you introduced yourself to me. You said you watched my YouTube videos. That was so flattering. And I absolutely love that you came up to me and introduced yourself. So um, if you ever do see me at the bins and recognize me, please come say hi. But she was the one who was like, um, she had found a couple of these pieces and wanted to know if I wanted them. So I did take them. Here's another piece that she had found and I will be taking this into consignment as well. So it's a very cute, trendy piece, cold shoulder. Um, it's Charlotte Russe, um, extra small. I think this would be great for like a Play-Doh's closet, but Again, it just doesn't have a lot of res um, resale value because it doesn't retail for a lot, but it is trendy and in really good condition. So that's what I'm kind of looking for for those places. I hope that doesn't sound too rambly and it does make some sense. But here's another piece um, that I think I'll take in possibly because if, of the color and just it just doesn't seem to fit the season. It's a Banana Republic Factory size 2 dress. And it's absolutely stunning. Um, I could not find any stains whatsoever. But again, I just don't think this is a piece I want to hold on to for a long time in my Poshmark closet. And the last piece that I got for consignment. So this is just 
um, a piece from Target, a very lightweight 4X flowy blouse. Um, again, trendy piece and very lightweight at the bins. Okay, so now I am dying over this, but I could not find its matching belt. So this is a robe and there's no tags whatsoever. So I'm having a hard time dating it or figuring out if it's vintage or not vintage. Um, I might need to ask my friend Carrie who has tons of vintage knowledge to help me just because I, I truly don't have a clue. Um, it has its little loops, but it's missing its little matching sash tie belt. Um, what I'm thinking I'm going to do though is go to John Fabrics or Fabric Store and get a ribbon that matches this. Um, to use as the belt because I feel like that would add more value to the piece. It does have like Like you can tie it on the inside. It has its inside tie, but it just it won't stay closed um, And I just think I would want this to bring as much value as possible because it does have the cranes and stuff on it, which This print is doing really well right now So kind of the kimono style Anyway, that was fun, but I'm not going to list it until I can add a belt to it and until I can determine if it's vintage or not. Uh, this is the heaviest thing that I possibly could have picked up at the bins. And it is a Wilson's leather jacket. And seriously, I'm, I don't know how much this weighs, but at least five pounds. I feel like it is extremely heavy. But I have sold several Wilson's jacket, several Wilson's leather jackets, and also just leather jackets. And during the right time of the year, they can sell for a good amount. And I'm guessing that this one retailed for quite a bit because uh, there is like the inside layer. Um, so what I mean by that is you can remove this like thin slit vest, which is really nice, and also just like a warmer layer. If you are a biker on the bike. So this is definitely a men's jacket. I mean, a woman, I guess, could wear it. But it's definitely meant for a mat for a man. Um, lots of inner pockets. And it's just in fabulous condition. Like, seriously, I'm not really even sure it was worn. So, um, yeah. Decided to get that up and listed. Okay, so the rest of the items are more of, like, the accessories, bags, purses, all of that jazz. Um, I never heard of this brand before, but it is the, uh, it's a messenger style bag, but I'm trying to show you the brand. So when I was able to look this up, I think it's got, Godium, Godium, Gotium. I think it's Godium. Anyway, it's a messenger bag. And although the actual, I'm trying to snap it for you. Um, although the, like the actual like canvas material is a little worn, it's overall in really great condition. I did use my Doc Martens balm on the leather and it just made it kind of look really nice and smooth. Um, that's all I really did to it, but otherwise it's in pretty good condition. So excited about this. I'm hoping for like maybe 20 to 30, um, even though it's new to me. This was my like one pair of really fun shoes that I thought was a great pair of shoes and they are decent. They're Steve Madden. Um, they're, I like the buckles on the sides and the only flaw is on one of them on the inside, the lining has a little hole in it. And so I'm debating about other than that, they're in really great condition. I'm trying to determine like either how to fix that issue because someone might file a case on that if Obviously, I would want to describe it, but I, I just don't know how to go about, like, explaining it. Um, so I might just take them into buy, sell, trade. Because, obviously, if people are able to try them on in the store and they know that there's an issue, it's just a little bit easier versus, like, trying to explain it on Poshmark. Um, but they're, they're so good. So I'm not sure what I'm doing with those ones yet. Um, but I did find some other shoes. So this pair uh, is called Office London. And never heard of it before. I have looked it up. Uh, it looks like it's probably a European brand. But they really remind me of, the, like, the Vionic shoes. Um, I like the Espadrille. It's kind of metallic-y. Leather upper. Really cute. And look, seem to be a really great quality shoe. And this was another pair. So we, there's just naturalizer. Kind of a comfort 
flat, career wear flat. Um, got a little bit of a heel, but otherwise just a great kind of walking shoe. Um, another pair of boots I have, they're just Rocket Dog, but I love the lace up and kind of this um, design, this fabric upper design. Cute, trendy, six and a half. Um, here's this bag. So don't get mad at me for selling this, for bringing it home. I saw this bag and it looked like it was in great condition. I saw that it was new with tags and I put it in my cart. When I got home and started photographing it, I realized that it has these inner zippers. And this is not a big deal to me, by the way. I just realized that some of you might not be supporters. Um, anyway, so it has these inner compartments on both sides. And I was like, oh, it's a conceal and carry bag. Um, and sure enough, when I actually looked at the tag, it does say um, concealed weapon bag. It retailed for $84 and it's in fabulous condition. So it's just a really basic um, leather bag. It's a uh, dark brown, almost looks black. And yeah, I mean, if you are someone who feels the need to, to carry or um, maybe you have like a taser or pepper spray, you can easily just put it in the middle compartment here. So that's interesting. And I got to do some fun research on Poshmark for conceal and carry bags. This is a fossil bag. Um, it was in decent condition, but the leather definitely was thirsty. So again, Doc Martens, this is all I used on it. And it looks so good. It feels so great, super soft, and I feel like it's ready to go. So great fossil bag, great find. Two more bags um, that I'm both in love with. So this is just kind of a mini backpack. Uh, with this one, I couldn't find any, like, interior tags to tell if it was genuine leather or not, but it cleaned up really nicely. It does kind of feel like leather, but I just, without that tag, I don't like to say that it's for certain leather, and I just put that in my description. But, cute little mini backpack. Um, and this one. It's probably my favorite. A great note to end on. How could you not love some Mickey Classic um, a little mini backpack. It is one of those backpacks that you can wear both ways. You can wear it across the body with, because the handles zip, or you can unzip them and wear it as a backpack. This one was pretty dirty when I found it. I just had to really wipe it down really well. It was very dusty. Um, and on the inside it has, um, it's like this little drawstring, but it has this little Mickey tag and it says Mickey Unlimited. Um, it doesn't have a year, but I definitely feel like it's a 90s style um, bag. So fun for Mickey collectors or Disney goers. Um, so I hope this does well. Again, same leather issue. It doesn't have any content tags. So I don't know if this is real leather or not. I will say it's in fabulous condition. Like the, the material itself is in really good condition. I just can't tell for sure. So that is my haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing what I found at the bins. Um, if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and of course I will see you next time.